Uh, Julia, I've got no doubt that you were watching quite closely uh, the technicals, the charts today. What were they telling you? A fantastic day for traders and investors. We saw the market up by a massive 3.6 percent and we saw things like the materials, the energy, the financial sectors all gaining more than 4 percent. So a tremendous day for the Australian stock market. A lot of technical traders had been looking for a bear market rally or a, a, a significant turning point. I know David Hunt on your money, your call on Tuesday was calling the bottom of this bear market run that we've seen. So I guess the big question for traders is whether this is a significant turning point or whether it's a bear market rally. Bear market rallies do tend to be very quick and strong and we certainly saw the, uh, the bear market rallies in the past where we have seen the Australian market moving very quickly from around the 3,765 point level to the 4,300 point level in a matter of weeks. So if we do see a bear market rally, the thing to be watching, the first target to be watching is that 50-day moving average. If I just bring up the 50-day moving average on the S&P ASX 200, this is what it looks like. And usually it acts as a resistance mark. It has in the past, so resistance will be at that 4,134 point mark where that 50 day moving average sits. But today a very significant day. We managed to pull past a 4,000 point uh, psychological barrier. We managed to finish on the highs of the session. No doubt there was a lot of short uh, short covering happening on the market as well but every single sector trading higher and now traders watching to see whether this is just a bear market rally or a significant turning point. Hen, let's have a, a quick look at some of the corporate stories around today. Um, Atlas Iron, uh, a compulsory, I, I think this is going to happen tonight, the compulsory acquisition of, um, of Ferris because the, the period I think expires tonight. Um, interesting though, you know, we've got that on one hand. We've got Fortescue bouncing back today. There'd been a lot of talk around about the, you know, the pure eye and all players and, and whether it was a, a smart place to be. Um, we've got iron ore trading at, you know, quite the three month lows. W w how do you sort of bring all this together? It's all those stocks that have been underperforming in the last month, in the last quarter, which saw the biggest bounces today. Paladin up by a massive 15 percent. We saw Linus up by 12 percent. Karoon Gas up by around about 16 percent. And today Atlas Iron also bouncing back very strongly. Now Atlas Iron down by 10 percent in the past week as of the close yesterday and down more than 20 percent in the past month. So not surprising to see its shares absolutely roaring back and that's because it has been an underperformer over the last quarter. As you mentioned, Kylie, it is moving to compulsory acquisition of Theros. Now, this happens when a company acquires more than 90% of a company's shares. They can acquire the rest without the shareholders needing to accept. So, those shareholders that haven't accepted Atlas Iron's offer for Theros, it is moving to compulsory acquisition, which means that they will get the same price as the, the rest of the shareholders. So, they'll get one Atlas Iron share for every four fair Oz shares that they own. Of course this has been Atlas Iron's strategy. Their strategy has been growth through acquisition. They've made more than 40 acquisitions and this year has been a significant year for this company. This company now has 366 million dollars on its books as of the end of the last financial year. Declared its maiden profit, maiden dividend as well in September was paid out. And if we have a look at this company, the key that uh, the key of this company is the infrastructure that it owns. We know that it's relatively easy to dig uh, dirt dirt up. Uh, the key is to have the infrastructure to move it, and that's where the likes of BHP, Bilge, and Rio Tinto have excelled. But its port uh, allocation at Port Hedland is what puts it ahead of some of it, the other uh, smaller iron ore miners. And I guess if we have a look at this acquisition, it means that it will be getting 12 million tons extra infrastructure on that northwest infrastructure. So another acquisition for Atlas Iron and really this just improves the infrastructure that it has which gives it an edge over some of the other miners.